Welcome to the Agents of Rock podcast with your hosts, Bill Algie, Dennis Talbot, and Alan Tate. We are three guys who have one thing in common, a love of rock and roll. Our goal is to talk about all things rock. We hope you find this show intriguing, funny, and occasionally highly opinionated. Enjoy. Welcome to the latest edition of the Ages of Rock podcast. I am here once again, all three of us, which is amazing. Mr. Bill, Mr. Allen, of course, me, Dennis. Um, Mr. Bill, oh no. (laughs) We, of course, I'm blurred again, so that means that I have not cleaned my room yet. I'm going to start on that tomorrow. So no, we, really, he's doing that because he's tired of people watching his cat take a shit. <laughs> That's true. You know what? <laughs> it's about time for that little fuck to get up here. So we'll see. Um. So anyway, uh, before, we, before we get started, I do sure. want to say something real quick. For sure. those of you who watch this show on YouTube and have earbuds in, my apologies, because usually yeah. I tweak it so that it's in both ears every week because the Zoom, for whatever reason, only records into the left channel. And last week I was in a rush and forgot to switch it to both channels. So Dennis called me up and he's like, oh my gosh, it's only in one channel. I'm like, it'll be all right. <laughs> and everybody that listens to it on the regular, the audio download through the podcast app or whatever, it, it still came through both ears correctly. So Yeah, and those all that right, don't folks. listen, they're, you're fine. Yeah. Don't worry. Everything will sound just like it does every week that you don't That's listen. Right. Jackass. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, it was uh, funny because I, I rarely listen with earbuds, and all of a sudden I had my earbuds in, and all of a sudden I'm like going, what the fuck's the right channel? It's what do you on. usually use to listen? Do you just do your ears? or I usually just listen to it on my iPod, the iPad, or I use it, oh. I don't, you know, where I don't notice it going well. He listens in his garage when he's got it hooked yeah. into his big stereo yeah. speakers. There you go. So oh, I, do, nice. I can't tell that it's not that. Nice. Um, so you only listen to us when you're drunk. Is that what you hear? Is that what I hear? No, I'm actually <laughs> working in the garage. You know, I need to do a lot of work out there. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, I Got do it. a lot of work. <laughs> anyway, I do want to make winky, a correction. <laughs> actually, I made a mistake last week. Can you believe that shit? So anyway, we were mentioning during when we were talking about Olivia Newton John passing away. I mentioned that Andy She still Timmons, passed away. She is still dead. Sorry. Okay. Um we I mentioned Andy Timmons. Um being yeah. it had played with her for years and ever and then i mentioned so anyway let me i'm going to make a correction so annie timmons actually was her, her music director number one for many years play guitar with her i mentioned that he is and they, i actually did some research and he and i actually sent another i sent a thing out to him because i want to get him on the show and i sent a message through messenger to his uh, Facebook account and just realized that I did it two years ago and never got a response. So we're going to find out. I sent it again. So I'd still list. like to have you on the, still like to have you on the show. But Andy, if you look at Wikipedia, it does show him being a resident, but he was born in Evansville. He actually went to Harrison high school, but he did not play with Buster Brown. He played with a band called Taylor Bay band. And I don't know why I didn't remember that. Cause I know, I actually know a neighbor. <laughs> No, actually, my neighbor, uh, Gary, used to run sound for them, and he was in, in Taylor Bay, and the guy that cuts my meat at Schnooks used to be the keyboard player in, TMI, in Taylor Bay. TMI, <laughs> No, my butcher <laughs> at Schnooks, the butcher at Schnooks, Matt, is, is was the keyboard player and from Taylor Bay. I guess it's better so, that he cuts your meat than beating it. It's better than cutting my cheese, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Wow, this just went to the shitter. Is, quick, is, the, con- the connections being made tonight on this show. <laughs> <laughs> my my this third cousin has one tooth went to the dentist that I just, by the way, happens to be his dentist. <laughs> no, I mean, it just it so kind of anyway. feels like where we're going here. <laughs> but anyway, um, another thing that happened this week, or actually happened tonight, Bill's handy Danny notebook. His Jeff Gordon NASCAR handy dandy notebook is completely full now. It, so. it is completely full. It is. So what are you going to do? You're going to get another NASCAR notepad, or are you? I don't think NASCAR? you can buy that shit anymore because nobody watches that crap. <laughs> so well, Jeff no, Gordon's been out of it. it if, if you've never seen it, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Um, it's going to go in yes, our museum. Every every it's going to go. We're going to put it in the. Uh, we're, we'll, it'll we'll tour it so that people can get to see it if they want. You can't touch it because. 
it'll we'll ruin it, the pages. We'll bring it to the next rock and pop. Actually, if you here's what we'll do. No, we're going will steal to, our ideas. We're gonna we're gonna put this out. We're gonna call this Bill's Magic Book. And if you send us one hundred and fifty dollars, we're gonna get it printed <laughs> up and send you a copy of it. How's you that? send me one hundred fifty dollars, I will send you this. I will personally deliver this book. <laughs> <laughs> and they might have a picture I'm of kiss sure in it. We that don't know. Just went right over Bill's head. I know. Did you not get no, that? No, I door? heard exactly what you said. <laughs> and I'm just trying to ignore you. I know. That's, that's kind of okay. Let's play, let's play. Let's play roulette. Let's play well, roulette. Now here, here's the funny roulette. thing: is we're going to offer the book out, and every time you get ready to ship the book out, oh, we did another episode. I got to write more in the book. That are you. <laughs> I'm still okay. updating it. I'm just gonna flip the book open and see where it lands. Okay, let's do this. What's it gonna be? Oh, episode number one fifty eight, Tyson Leslie. There you go. So our buddy that's running Vixen right now, I think, and, and you uh, know he is back in Nashville he, again. Did you see? Have you been following with, for Vixen? Right. Yeah, he's gonna also, be. He's gonna be in Indy on Saturday. Yeah. Autograph and Vixen are gonna be uh, are gonna be at the State Fair. And it, if free, anybody doesn't, if somebody doesn't follow him, which I follow him on there, he actually had moved to Kansas City, and moved his family out there, did all kinds, of, and he was out there for less than a year, and he's now moving back to Nashville again. Wow! So, and on the other side of the page, because yeah. there's two sides, is uh, Mitch Lafon. Hmm. And I don't I know that could, Mitch I don't know which Mitch Lafon show that was because he's been on like five times, uh, a few times. times. Yeah. Anyway, so that was just, I just thought that was pretty interesting. And, uh, oh, one other thing I wanted to bring up. So you had Bill's, Bill, and Bill, I, I want to say you did a great job of a solo uh, conversation with uh, Mr. Josie Scott. I can pretty much take care of it when it's solo. Yeah. That actually was a I'm, really I'm good used to that. Interview. I'm, I'm not an interview. Of... That was a great conversation. <laughs> I found something that he said very, very interesting. And I'm, I'm curious. <laughs> This is almost almost a whole topic, but I just I I found it really interesting because when you you guys were talking and you were talking, of course, you know, like coming around to kiss and all this stuff and growing up and doing this stuff. He made the comment. He said, "He goes, you, Bill, grew up in the in the greatest time as far as music is concerned. You know, he wanted to be. He wished he would have been a, a little bit older, mm -hmm. so he could have been in that time. Now." <laughs> I think if you ask that question to anybody, I don't think I've ever met anybody or talked to anybody who said, you know what? I grew up in that right time because I'm the same way. I think that the people that were maybe three to four years, maybe five years older than me, was at the best time. And the only reason I'm saying that is, you know, like with all the movies and like, uh, like with uh, Days and Confused, you know, I was younger at that point you know in the, in the 70s i would have been I, I didn't i wasn't driving you know they had mm. all the cool cars back then and if i was a little bit older i could have drove to a kiss concert at that point but you know i was 10 12 years old couldn't do it you know but then again we you know we went through and lived through all the 80s stuff which was cool and for people that were not you know what i'm saying i, I think that Everybody looks at it's always green. The grass is always greener and somebody exactly else's pasture. That's what I was getting ready to say. Except for now. <laughs> yeah, you, these guys are these guys are fucked. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the grass is pretty well burnt up by now. It's <laughs> roasted, man. But I mean, have you ever noticed that though? When people people always, I think everybody, yeah, you don't think that you were born in that right time. You're always mute. And when it when it comes to music, you're always like, man, I wish I was a little bit older, a little bit younger. But nobody well, was know, right. I just thought that was kind of interesting when he said that about that, because I was mm. like, going, I've said the same thing, you know, but. Right. You know, and something else. And this is even it's not an issue, but it's when I use the term issue, an issue sure. between like you guys and me, you guys are five years older than me, six years older than me. Sure. You know, what's your two favorite Def Leppard albums? They're not the same two favorite Def Leppard albums that I have. And it's all of that time you discovered them. Sure. You know. Yeah. And um, one of the things that people will, you know, they'll make snide comments or something about, oh, well, that's not the real Def Leppard because, you know, that's because they didn't have a producer yet. You got the raw stuff. I get it. You like that. You know, right. don't knock somebody for liking something that's different than you like, you know. Well, it's the same way with but, Kiss. I mean, it's right. like whenever you found them and whatever. Yeah, I think, 
You yeah. Know? I think the amazing thing about that, especially, especially with bands that have a long longevity, I mean, you know, sure. there's, you go through those periods of time, but to your point, I mean, if you ask Noah, who's 21, you know, right. who's listened to every, all the music I've listened to. And he, you ask him what kisses to him and he will tell you kisses Bruce and Tommy and Eric sure. singer. I mean, sure. that's, that's, Absolutely. you know, and Gene and Paul, that's, that's his kiss. Cause he never saw the other guys. So now, it never, hey, you look at somebody who's a Rolling Stones fan. Yeah. I mean, those they're, guys, they're good. Around for Cause they got a part. <laughs> well, know? and we mentioned that the other day when you, when you talked about your concert, Alan, I mean, uh, Doobie Brothers. You know, there's the Doobie Brothers, the the purest. Then there's the Michael McDonald people. You know, it's right. just there's just a whole. But it's when you when you found them, that's that's your yeah. band. You know, Absolutely. so it is. But it, but I, I just thought that was very interesting. Listen to that. Listen to that conversation. Which, like I said, Bill, I'll give you credit. That was a really good conversation with him. Um, you get no yeah. credit for any other interviews ever, Bill. No, <laughs> hey, I got that one. It's no. fine. You know, I I. I'm like, it was all right. No, I'm just Alan, what were, you, was... what were you going to finish saying about the about the Rolling Stones? I didn't. Did you finish oh, your? I'm sorry, didn't you finish your? Thought? No, I was just saying. You know, we're talking about. You said something about longevity. Oh yeah. And I said, you know, you look at Rolling Stones. They've been around for sixty years. Sixty years, and they are still kicking. They're still writing and recording new material. Right. Yeah. You know, so they've got like seven generations worth of fans. <laughs> you know. Right. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Good Lord, they wrote their first song on Stone. <laughs> literally <laughs> <laughs> yeah no kidding. for sure yeah thanks for the kudos about the interview i appreciate that it was it was a lot of fun i mean i really somebody that you know i thought it was going to last 20 minutes 15 minutes look down and all of a sudden it was at 45 and i'm like oh my god i forgot i haven't even <laughs> got to the part where to the topic yet <laughs> i have got to where i was talking that's what about I kept yet. listening to it and i'm like are they ever going to talk about that solo stuff <laughs> yeah, that's what I wanna... and then come to find out there's really not a lot to talk about yet because it's still in the works and so it all worked out perfect but Right. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Mm, cool. So anyway, yeah, so that's uh, what and, um, one other update for this week. I did buy a ticket for the um, Louder Than uh, Life. I got it right this time. Louder Than yeah. Life. I. Um, so I <laughs> you got to tell that story. So dumb we're, we're, me. We're going to pull your man oh, I'm still, after I'm you tell still, that story. I'm still going to go. Don't you are? I, oh, yeah, I'm going to go. Well, I didn't. You didn't. Never told me that, Jackass. You just told me you bought a ticket. And now you're gonna have to sell it. No, you have to go to the well, I was whatever, feeling whatever. bad, but I'm feeling bad. But I got Max to. He's gonna use my ticket to the thing. So, so anyway, I need to buy. So I need to buy a ticket. You need, buy, you need to buy a ticket. Yeah, be, buy one. <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass. <laughs> do, it, do it right now. Do it right now while we're while we're talking about. It. So anyway, no. So anyway, I you know we had talked about this last time. We got and they opened some tickets up. So I went bought. So all of a sudden I was like, man, as soon as we got off the show, I was like. I've got to get this ticket. So I bought the ticket and I was all proud and stuff. <laughs> and I was telling Kelly about it. She goes, she goes, what night is the opening of the, the Evansville Philharmonic? And I go, well, I don't know. I don't think it's that night. <laughs> oh, guess what? It is. It's that night. Well, the Evansville Philharmonic should not schedule shows. I know. On and, a and Saturday a, night. And it's, a, and it's a Tchaikovsky too, which I would have really, I actually would have enjoyed that because that's one of my favorites. But anyway, so I got it all figured out, but yeah, I am going to go. I, I'm, I'm not going to, I was going to try to sell the ticket, but of course I'm not going to, I'm, I gotta go. I gotta see Kiss one more time. Shitheads. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never, and I, I've never seen Rob Zombie and I, I would like to see that. You know, I'm seeing now, I would like to see though, uh, uh, Roberts, Keen Roberts playing with them. I think that'll be interesting to see how that works Oh, with out. Alice? Without. Absolutely, I was. Is yeah, John really is excited. John Five playing with Rob Zombie, Zombie. still? Yes. See, now I've never seen John Five, so I'm not a big Rob Zombie fan. But I Here's do want to. Here's something. Wanna... Speaking of uh, John Five, something that's pretty cool. When that? uh, Rob Zombie was playing somewhere near wherever Peter Chris is, sure, uh, it was saw... John Five's birthday, and Rob Zombie managed to get Peter Chris to come out and sing Happy Birthday to John Five on stage at the show. I bet John about passed out. Oh, I bet he did. <laughs> he's seen this last week. His drawers. I bet he last, did. That was just this last week, right? It was the last week of the week before. Yeah, yeah I saw a picture recently. where they took the picture together. So I was like going because you know he's a he, he's probably collection wise he's probably his, his, second to his Gene. Collection is impressive. <laughs> exactly. Yep. 
Actually, he's probably got he's got shit that Gene doesn't have. Gene has all the standard sold stuff, but he has like a lot of worn. You know, yeah, he's got a lot of shit. Well, on a on a sad musical note, the lead singer for Grim Reaper passed away. I saw that today, either yeah. earlier today or yesterday. I think. Yeah. Hmm. He was 16. not familiar with their music. Uh, see they had you the in song, hell. See you in hell. Yeah. That was that was really the only one that got any video play that I ever. Recall. He looked a, he looked a lot like my. Uh, a girl I know her her brother. When we used to watch that video, it's like man, he looks. I thought so he was gonna say a girl I used to date. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I thought he was gonna say. I'm like, no, man, it would have been an, married up. A, that would have been, <laughs> been an ugly woman. That would have been a really ugly woman. Trust me. Well, if you got but, enough uh, alcohol, it don't matter. That's true. All right, we're all so, closing time. So we don't have <laughs> a guest tonight, and but we had been talking about. Um, Last week we we talked about this record because I had bought this album and purchased it, but I'll put it like this so you can see it. But we're going to talk about the uh, Kiss off the soundboard live Donington. It looks like 17th. his hair is tied with a Target bag. Did you see that? Oh, I know that bag is back there. I <laughs> when you watch that back, you pull yeah, it down. There's some Christmas and you got shit a big in bow there. on the I back know. of your head. It's a Target bag. It I, looks great, next, man. Next week. <laughs> This blur is gone. I'm going to get this. Like I said, tomorrow I told Kelly this shit's going back in the closet tomorrow. Ne- next week he'll be like I've been for the last four years no. and have something just hanging in the background. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, we're going to talk about this album. Um, like I said, I did. I still have not listened to this album. I've listened to the recording <laughs> on Spotify, but I, I have not pulled the album out yet. And I did get the red. This is, I think it is red, isn't it? Yeah, it's red. Yeah, but this is the third um, third authorized Kissed li- Kiss Live bootleg series. Um, and then it's kind of weird the way they put it. <laughs> third authorized live bootleg series. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that's kind of odd. Well, but there anyway, are a lot of other ones that are out there that are unauthorized. That's true, but it's a bootleg. It's not a bootleg. This is a sound. This is a soundboard recording. Anyway, three LPs, uh, 180 gram, red vinyl set. And this was, of course, I tell you what, this is, we were talking about this the other day. Um, This is probably my favorite live album of Kiss, period. I know you, you know, some of you guys like the Unplugged because it, we talked about that last week. And we have a live one, live two, uh, live three. Uh, the orchestra symphony, symphony so up, but to me and the other two soundboards, but this to me is my favorite. All I mean, all out. I really, really like it. We can tell. Your what's your general thoughts on the whole thing before we start talking about it? For me, I like, and I've said this in previous episodes. I like that they have got. <clears throat> Paul's guitar hard panned in one direction, Ace's guitar hard panned in the other direction, so you can really hear the separation and hear what each of them are playing. Right. You know, the bass is, it's Gene's bass from the reunion, it's nice and it's growly, and, you know, and the drums, you know, I, I don't know if at that point he was using triggers yet or not, but the drums sound pretty good on this one, too. Yeah. That's... And that's all I, I thought... got to say about that. <laughs> I think um, from a quality perspective, I thought the mix, I, mean, I know it's not mixed because it's straight off the soundboard, but sure. that's a little bit lacking because I think you you miss the lead guitar and uh, peri- periodically it's in the background. Gene, Gene's bass is up way too loud at, in, in, you know, in some spots for me anyway. Um, but overall, I do, I, I like the song selection on this record. And when you when you think back about it, you know, this is the, you know, this was off the, re- off the reunion tour and just sure. really, well, the first year of the reunion tour too, which is, which matters because yeah, I was going to say it's, where, went, it's still, goes, still yeah. early on before they started. When did we see them in Lowell? Do you remember? Second June, show. June the 30th, 1996. Yeah. So I was, I was, this is two months. I was about to be a dad. So this my wife is, was, my wife was like, you know how close we came to paging you? And I was like, I was waiting for it. She's like, How many oh, seconds were, apart were you? We, <laughs> you, were, you were almost. He wasn't a, born for another 10 days. You, you know, were almost a dad, him. and Bill be, Bill became a dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's the legend, well, anyway. You, 
Where you got it? <laughs> la, 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 la. La, anyway. la, la, la. No, but uh, she So this said, would have been two months she, later. Yeah. So. She said, we were going to page you, but we thought you would really get pissed off. And I'm like, you would have been 100% correct. That would be 100% correct. <laughs> that that would be the one time that I really would have been mad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that but was anyway. – but, but, yeah, but the record – I think the record – I mean, I, I do like the song selection. Um, I, I – you know, there's a couple – I wrote a couple of notes. Um, right. But – in general stuff but nothing i mean nothing bad um paul's vocals were great um, exactly exactly you know he, I, he, it's kind of funny because i get a little annoyed that he does a little runs where he says the city's down like donning and he goes on that little run thing like dude that's why your voice is shot because you do that shit that nobody really cares about so stop doing that but, but you um, know what i like that well, I like it when he does it in the songs. I don't care for it when it's just like freelance and it's just fine, but whatever. But right. it's okay. But otherwise, I do like it. Um, that's I don't have the Virginia Beach um, uh, soundboard version. Um, I don't think I think they sold 12 copies of that, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe I've 13. listened to it on Spotify, but I'm not, I don't own yeah. it. And there's a reason why because it sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, I, I would like something from that. I would, and I don't know what year that's from. Do you know what year the Virginia Beach is from? 2004. Yeah, you know so it's I funny because they did the Rock the Nation thing, and they did those instant lives for all, yeah, and which you have, so you, people sure. have it. And I don't <laughs> think they did an instant live for this show which, because which, they were planning this. Which they were probably they probably been planning this for since the reunion started. Right, could have been. You know that that would be my guess because I I have all of the the instant lives from that entire tour and i'm almost positive that virginia beach is not in there yeah i want to hear i want to hear off the soundboard from asylum show or oh, something yeah. in that area that, that that's be, what i want to hear that would be bomb digging that or animalize i want to hear that oh i've got some soundboards from analyze animalize so how about yeah. creatures i do creatures no we just saw i just listened to that last week yeah i listened to, i watched i watched that you know, some of that stuff was on YouTube, and it was off of YouTube so fast, I never got yeah. a chance to check any of it out. But yeah. I heard, I listened to it one time. But there, it was actually some pretty good recordings. But anyway, the only the other thing about that record too, are, we, are you? What are we going to do? Are we going by song by song? Yeah, we're gonna, we I'm going to okay. go through the song. Yeah, we're going to kind of go through this. Kind of okay. go through the record. All right. So. Then I'll hold all other comments okay. for a moment. So, like I said, this was two two months after we saw them, um, and I agree with everything you guys said. I think that. I think that Paul's voice was was still fantastic at that point. Um, I think Gene's voice, on a whole, is not as good as it usually is. I would agree. But I do I, I like the way that, he carries on some of the songs. Changes it. Go ahead. I, ha I have a theory. They signed a deal with the devil, but part of the deal was only <laughs> one, one of them could have a good voice per <laughs> tour. <laughs> And I'm Jeez. kidding. I'm kidding. You kiss fans. Just fucking leave me alone. It's right. a joke. Knights in Satan so, service. You know that's how it happened. <laughs> but like you, were, like you were all saying too, though. I mean, Ace's playing is really good. Peter is set drums like trigger or whatever. You know, it, it, they sound great. They they were on fire at this point. You know, they were at their peak at the reunion tour. All right, so we're gonna start this off. This was Donington. And they start out, of course, with Deuce. Imagine that. That's that's a that's an unusual way to start a Kiss you concert. You know, now it's funny because when me and my friend Mike were driving to Louisville, we argued right. on the way to Louisville. Were they going to start with Deuce or were they going to start with Detroit Rock City? Right. And I was like, there's no fucking way they're going to play anything but Detroit Rock City. And they started out with Deuce. And he's like, ha, motherfucker, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's funny. But but anyway, Deuce, like I said, what it is a great way to start start a show, and then it, and like I said, it's they're, they're playing it good. Yeah. Any other remarks on that? Yeah, I, I know you said you had some things. Okay. Um. Then they they come in with a little bit of a little bit of the, the guitar. <laughs> He's laughing. What he knows the hell was that? That was my guitar <laughs> thing. Of it. Oh, damn! Wow. You're trying to fuck a cat. You, you haven't, obviously you haven't played for a while king of the nighttime <laughs> world there you go but what a i mean that's that's that is a fan that's kind of a as kind of out left field second song coming in but what a way to do that, that right you know uh, then it wasn't 
the whole the whole thing of the reunion tour, the whole thing for me was a treat. You right. know, because we'd all I'd never seen Kiss in makeup, so it was a dream come true for the guy that's five years younger than the rest of y'all. But uh, at the time, King of the Nighttime World, I wasn't surprised they play it. But when you go back and look at the set lists now, it's like, oh my God, that was such a treat. It was. <laughs> you know? Big time. Yeah, I'd heard it before live. Sorry, guys. Yeah, see, I hadn't. <laughs> see, I had Was it in uh, Robert Stadium in 1978? <laughs> it was in 1978. New Robert Stadium again and then again. 1979. <laughs> but of course, you know, and I, I know you mentioned this earlier. I just love in between the fact of hearing Paul's voice when it was so strong at that point, not like, you know, now okay, his voice sounds great when they're singing, but <laughs> in between songs, it's like, like he's gargling glass, you know, it's just, it's just horrible now. And to hear him do that and then Donington. Yeah. <laughs> that shit. I, I love to be that brings a big ass smile to my face because I'm like going, oh, I forgot about that. I love that part of it. You know, ooh, you know, all that extra like you said, just ripping his throat to shreds, but it sounds so fucking good. And it's it, it does, it brings a smile to my face. Yeah, when That's you when now, now like, when you hear him start even start it, you're like, Oh, oh my please God. don't, oh, stop. don't do it. Don't do <laughs> but I mean count, please do us a favor. Did and you count the, and see how many times he said we're just getting started? I know he used to say yeah. that a lot. <laughs> No, I don't think he said it very much. I and, think he, it and, he, and he cursed a couple of times on here. It was kind oh, of yeah. interesting. He that, I mean, he, you know, he was all foul mouthed back in the was it was that, si the, asylum. Oh, the asylum. Yeah, yeah, animal, yeah, he he was, was yeah. animalized. Yeah, it was. But he threw a couple. He threw a shit and, uh, and something else. I can't remember yeah, what it was. I was, did. I was laughing. Yeah, but I thought that was kind of funny. And uh, so anyway, King of Night Time World, great song. And then of course Bill's song comes up, number three, little yep. little Do You Love Me, which you know it's. That song's got some weird harmonies in it. Like I want to know does. when they did do the... it live. That's it is really weird. I think it is Ace weird. is singing them lower. I, some of that lower. I couldn't shit. tell who was singing. I mean, it was like you couldn't tell. And during the refrain, you couldn't tell who was singing. It was just the who could you couldn't tell who the backups were because it didn't really sound like Ace, but it sounded. I mean, it was weird. I don't know who it was. I think him and Peter are both. I think singing, Peter was singing a little bit, but it was just kind off. of they're just kind of meddling it in together. I don't know. I, I'm like you. There's sometimes you can't figure out who's doing the backing vocals on some of that stuff. It's, yeah, I thought it was good though. I mean, I liked oh, it. I thought it sounded good. really Trust good. Me. Yeah, very good. But I just couldn't figure it out. I'm like, man, who is that? And I listened to it like twice, right. you know, earlier today, just because like. Man, who I'm trying to figure it out. I can't figure it out. But anyway, great song. Fantastic yeah. song. Alan definitely one of definitely one of my faves. I was too busy listening to Laura cussing in oh. the background. <laughs> What's oh. she saying? Hey, she got, we're gonna blow got, some shit up. <laughs> she have Tourette's again. She have Tourette's again. We're not right. done, motherfuckers. She did for a minute. <laughs> she did for a minute. Yeah. She, she has Alan, episodic I'm... Tourette's. <laughs> goes, Alan Tate, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> no, for a change, it wasn't me. Actually, her Tourette's was self-inflicted. So. Oh, there you oh. go. <laughs> I have that okay. periodically. <laughs> All right. So next on the list, after Do You Love Me, we have Calling Dr. Love. Which is Alan's favorite Kiss song. Yep. There you go. It's full of hits, I tell you. Full of hits. Gene, Gene changes up his... Changes up the way he sings that too. Did you notice that? Yeah, that was a little yeah. weird. Did you like? I mean, I'm like you. I really didn't actually really notice it till today. And I'm driving home, and I got my earbuds in, and I'm really listening to it. You know, really close. And uh, instead of going, you know, full of sin, you know, where you always knock that shit off at the end, he's he's just letting it go. And it's like that's kind of different. Never heard him do it that way, and I, I've never heard him do it since then. So say that again. I'm a little confused. So when he goes, you know, even though I'm full of sin, instead of cutting oh. it off, he just kind of keeps drug going it out a little it. longer. Drugs of that. He drug it out. On, I think it's just in that first verse, too. And I'm probably trying to remember kinda, the words. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> sin. Honest to God. God's word. The next there, word? Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, he does. He changes He this whole show. Gene does change up the way he 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 sings certain songs because you know usually he is basically cookie cutter. This is the way I sing this. This is the way I sing that, and he does change it up. And I don't know if it's just the excitement. I mean, at Donington was a big show. I mean, well, that was a big show. 
Early, so. early, they're still pretty early on in the reunion tour, and he's probably sure. thinking, man, guess how much money we made tonight. <laughs> you know? Well, that, and you know, here he's out with the makeup again. Okay, he hasn't played in makeup on a big stage. You know, I'm sure... It, it, I th- I'm sure it's different. I'm sure, you know, the he's got so much adrenaline going and all this bullshit. You know, he's kind of maybe the demon, you know, it's, it's part of that demon, demon esque bullshit. Yeah, put, put into perspective, though, the last tour before that. Oh, yeah. And How many butts were in the seats? You're playing for about 2,500 I mean, really? people in yeah. a 1,500, a, a 15,000 yeah. seat arena. You're playing for about a third of the way. Yeah. And the, and the speed at which you're playing those songs <laughs> yes. during that time frame right. was. Pretty fast. <laughs> well, now by the time they got to Revenge, they had started slowing them songs. So that's back true. Down. That's, that's true. true. You know, yeah, that's true. And, that's true. Revenge think, was a great tour. And I so. think you know, from, from it's my understanding that when they were doing the Revenge stuff, you know, Eric kind of did have a little bit of input of you know the, these are the songs the fans want to hear. You know, mm-hmm. let's play these old songs. Let's play them a little more traditionally and such. You know, that, yeah. I mean, that's what I've heard over the years. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Right. But by the time Revenge rolled around, they had at least started slowing the songs back down to non-chipmunk speed. Right. Yeah. But, but again, just, the stadiums still were, right. you know. Dismal. Dismal. But the Revenge tour was freaking awesome in that oh, show. It was. It was that great, show was great awesome. Show. But, yeah. That, and I think I think that's part of it. I mean, I think that's – when you listen to that and, you know, you <laughs> ace a couple times. When, well, when you get to shock me, you know, yeah. ace makes a couple comments. It's just like – that's kind of odd. <laughs> no, I know. Thanks, but Paul. anyway, but they're still, like I said, I think God, I think just listening to the way he phrases and like this changes the way he's singing some of these songs. I just found, excuse me, found very interesting. Um, going to the next, then we go into a little, I want you people to make it back next year. Don't go out and like kill yourself or something. <laughs> I thought that was kind of <laughs> odd. <laughs> Do anything like that. Don't do that. That was his rock against drunk driving commercial. <laughs> yeah, don't don't kill yourself or something like that. <laughs> but anyway, I love the fact uh, that Ace sings that second verse. And oh, then yeah. When they're Let's doing it up a little bit. And then when they're also singing toward the end, when they're doing the call, the Dr. Love, or not Dr. Love, but the, the Cold Gin stuff, Ace is singing just as loud as Gene is. I mean, they're both just hammering that microphone and it like i said these dudes were on fucking fire i mean it was at their best you know so there you go what's your thoughts guys you... that's because that's oh, they were having cadillac dreams <laughs> yeah. no they were they were all you know fresh of of losing some weight getting their shit together staying a little sober than they you know more sober than they had been for a while. Uh, maybe some of them. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, <laughs> but anyway. But no, I thought I thought Cold Jim was. I thought it was. Of course, you know that's a great, great staple song, and it sounds great. Yep. Um, and we're going into "Let Me Go Rock and Roll," which never can go wrong with that song. Much better rendition on this tour than on the Psycho Circus tour. Oh, holy fuck! Yeah. Yeah, you know that's the only tour I have not seen in. Uh, I did not see that tour, and I didn't see the, you didn't the miss summer it. the summer thing when they ran out or went out for that short run, uh, rocking the rocking America or whatever it was called, whatever that tour I was saw called. Cycle Circus and I it didn't was go terrible. It was, yeah, I, I saw that. that. I saw that. I didn't Terre need Haute. to see the three D version. I was going to ask if it was a Terre Haute show. I saw it at Holman. Yeah, yeah. They, they didn't play Evansville. I got a, I got a last minute ticket. What's funny was I went with Rod and his girlfriend at the time. Because he had, he was recently divorced and he had had a date. They were sitting up on the where Holman comes around, like the, where it's ground level at that point. They had two seats over here. I bought a last minute ticket and I was right on the very bottom on the floor, right next to the stage where whenever Paul sang Love Gun, <laughs> that was the first time he'd done it. I was right there. I was like eight feet away from Paul. <laughs> I'm sitting there going. Look at that rod going like fuck you. Look at me, <laughs> last minute ticket, <laughs> right here. Yeah, that happened when I went to see Alice Cooper one time. 
I bought a single ticket and ended up dead yeah. center in like the thirty fourth <laughs> row. That was my, great. My buddies that I went with had tickets from day one. And they were like off to the side, eight or nine rows back. That was the same deal. <laughs> I mean, I did. I bought the last minute and rode up with them. And, Sometimes uh, it pays to do that. Yeah, but anyway, Holman was that was a good place to go. But no, I I do like that. I tell you, the base. And I know Bill, you, you said it's a little louder for your taste than sometimes on this album. Well, it just but, muddied up the, some songs, it just muddied up the, the song, you know, right. that's all. I just some find, it didn't, others I didn't. love to hear Gene's bass. I think he's, a, you know, he's such a, he's just an underrated bass player and to hear it kicking like it does. I mean, it's, that's a, that's a good bass sound on this album. I mean, I, that's one of my favorite things about this album is, is the bass level. And if my thing was unblurred, you could see my cat taking a shit right now. <laughs> Actually, you couldn't because there's a bit I could hear him over scratching. Fucker, better cover. That's a, that's an up. omen of what this episode is going to be like. Seven nineteen. That's about right. We started a little early, so little fucker. Anyway, <laughs> any other Maybe words about let me go rock and roll? Box. Nope. All right. Next, we have some shout it out loud. Great. Now, great isn't song. this another one where Ace got a later on in the song got his own got to sing a line by himself? Yes, yes. Yeah. They actually there is one person, I guess it's Peter singing at one point at the very end when they go through doing the reel as far as everybody gets to do, you know, Tina says, Oh yeah. And I don't know what Peter's saying. I, I I backed it up three times trying to figure out what the hell he's saying. But he says something and it doesn't make any sense <laughs> i don't oh, know what it is so if anybody out there knows what it is i mean and it doesn't even sound like peter it just sounds like something i don't know i can't i can't it's until it's probably tommy singing for peter but it could be <laughs> you know. tommy's like going i'm gonna sing this um uh, <clears throat> might have been anyway, he was doing backing vocals who knows yeah but anyway no i mean that always that song always sounds great live i mean it's just and like I said, I I think that Paul and Ace's guitar playing together in whatever you know that they need, need to be done. I know there's a lot of those songs that have the the double lead type stuff, and it just they do a very good job. Like I said, Ace is on his game right here. I think, and we'll talk about it here in a minute. But there's one part he's not on his game. But um, anything else about shout it out loud, you guys? Nope. Good. All right. Nope. So we're gonna go on with. Watching You. Watching You is one of my favorite Kiss songs, period. I just don't think it comes... It's good, but it's not that good on here. I don't know. That's I was really let down by this song on this album. Really? Yeah. Hmm. And I can't tell you why. It just doesn't... Everything doesn't jive. I don't know. I, I don't think Gene's voice is as good as it usually is. I think that Gene's playing is a little sloppier than normal, maybe. I, I, I just don't know. It just doesn't, for some reason, I, as much as I love this song, I just don't think it's that good of a recording for that song, for this one. Well, this is another one of those that I will say at the time when you hear them doing it early on in the tour, you know, you don't know what you're going to get. So it's pretty cool to hear it. But looking yeah. at what they've played over the past 20, 25 years, this is another one of those, uh, it's a gem in the set list. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. For me, anyway. Did yeah. you get that? I mean, did you guys get any of that listening to that? I mean, did you think it was a little off, or was it just me? Just I listened night? to it, but I didn't, I didn't pay that close of attention okay. to that song, I guess. Me, I, I just, I don't know. For some reason, I... There were a couple... Such... But there were a I'm couple sorry. songs I thought that Gene's vocals were not the greatest, that they were right. a little... I don't know. They just were a little off. Yeah, and I, I couldn't I tell this, you. I, I mean, I just I remember thinking that. I just don't couldn't tell you exactly which one for sure. And of course, I like that. You know that that point where he gets that trying not to stay. You know that that gives that high, which he you know I know he can't hit that half the time, but it it just something's really off on this song, and I I can't quite I can't figure it out myself. But anyway, all right. So and then we come up to a little bit of firehouse. This is where we're gonna get. Of course, this is gonna be Gene's. Uh, he's going to blow his fire at this point. So the song's a little elongated, you know, of course. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I really, I had sit down today. I was actually in Schnooks walking around on my way home with my earbuds in, and the line was long as 
fuck. And I'm sitting there going, well, shit, at least I'm listening to Kiss. <laughs> and I'm sitting here listening to the Firehouse and I'm just, I'm just getting into it. I'm like thinking, what that song, I love the structure of that song. I think it's for as old of a song as it is, it is a well written, well, I mean, it's just a really good song. I don't know. It's one of those ones you, I don't really get tired of it. No, I like I, that song. I can appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a little bit of, it's just not your typical three chord song, number one, and it just fits, there's some, there's some great parts of that, but it is a little elongated, of course, because of the, the fire. I don't like Tommy Lee. <laughs> yeah, <okay>. Elongated. <laughs> Schlongated. That's what that is. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to see a band with a one-armed drummer and a band with <laughs> a three-armed drummer. drummer. <laughs> <laughs> so, What's your point? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody the other day, I think it was. We're going to get way off here. <laughs> no, here's real quick. Just Matt Porter or no, wasn't it Matt Porter? Somebody made the comment. Oh, no, I was. it was. Um, who's the drummer guy we know with all the tattoos lives in Canada? Rock and pod. Um, Lee McCormick. Right? Yeah, Lee McCoy. Oh, yeah, Lee made a comment. Somebody he was he was made a comment. Somebody he was listening to this song by Def Leppard by the what is about but see a song by the the Nine Arm Band or something like that. I saw I that. that. That's pretty funny. Yeah, Lee is pretty. He's hilarious. All right. So talking about elongated songs, we're we're now we're going into Ace is going to sing you a song. Let him tell you what he's going to sing. Well, what do you think it's going to be? <laughs> It's going to be a little shocking. Thanks, Paul. Yeah. They, yeah thanks, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and it's, right, didn't know, it's didn't even say it to no point because I can't listen to the whole thing because I get tired of it. I, I can't listen, listen to it either. But I the can't. thing was like, I'm going to blow some shit up now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's funny because when, when we saw them, you know, I was not a fan of the song New York Groove. Right. You know. Really? So when... When they came out and he had that flashing guitar and that song started, I was at a loss. I'm like, what the fuck are they playing? Right. It's because I did not like that song and I did not really know <laughs> that song that way. Right. And it took me until they got into the chorus to figure out, oh, shit, now I know what that is. <laughs> you know? But did you like it anymore? No. The only, I never, <laughs> honest to God, I never liked that song. He's honest. Until <laughs> the Bl Brooklyn Bridge show. Right. Now, oh when yeah. They performed New York Groove that night. That is when I started liking that song. That is the best performance of that song that they have ever done or they ever will do. Well, I have to admit too. I mean, that song. Of course, you know that was the hit off of his solo album. And I'm like thinking, God damn, there's so many other great songs on that album. It, it never did a thing for me ever. Never, ever, right. ever. Even yeah, acoustically, it's like, don't. What are well, you doing? That's yeah. it's just. Fucking terrible. So anyway, yeah, yeah, I'm not a fan. But anyway, shock me. I think sounds great on here, and I think even at the beginning, he's just when he gets in, even the, his leads he's playing all night are so good. But he gets into a solo, and is just so fucking corny and so stupid sounding. <laughs> oh, they're gonna get us. You're gonna get us. I'm get a DMCA rap. <laughs> no, I, I turned it off right away. I didn't. I just paused. I was trying to yeah. get. This. That was me going. Yeah. I was trying to see how long the song was. That's what I was trying to uh, figure out. I, found it. I, can, I, found, I have it now. It's like 12, 12 minutes and 42 seconds. And it is six minutes of just, and he's playing, and, and the stupid thing is, he's playing some of the dumbest fucking licks. Yeah, it's, it's seven minutes too. It's, it's, uh, yeah. let's see. It's, uh, however long it is, it's too long. Yeah. The eight intro and a half to minutes the, too long. <laughs> the solo that he was doing to the intro to his main solo is pretty decent. And then when it's the solo solo time, it's the worst fucking solo I've ever heard. What's going on? I hear something in my ear. Oh, do, 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 do. He, hear he's that? got one of them bugs burrowing into his ear. <laughs> Probably does. So anyway, yeah, I, it's six minutes way too long. So anyway, we're going to, we all it's agree like on this that. show. It, the show has been like 40 minutes. <laughs> this show is fun. I'm having a good time. So at least they save the fucking thing, throw some strutter out there. What a great song. I love that song. Yep. You can't Good get tunes. It. Yeah. It, it, it rips ass. Now we're going to elongate another song. We're going to go <laughs> into a little God of Thunder. Um, and now we have Dennis's favorite word. Elongated. Yeah. We're going to use that. <laughs> e, e long, e, e dong, 
dung gated. <laughs> anyway, no, we have God of Thunder. And I love the way they do that now. I just, I think I'm kind of burnt on the song itself. But when you see them do it live now with all the gene heads and all that shit, I, that, I, I that love cool. the way the way visually, they do it it's now. Very cool. Visually, it's very fucking cool. And Peter plays the, the drums on there are they do a good job of this. But like I said, then they're getting there's is it part of the drum solo in this? Or there's a the drum solos in uh hundred thousand years. years. But Love Gun or not Love Gun, God of Thunder has a it's longer too though, isn't it? Here, I'm gonna well, pull that's it up. Stretched out because that's it. where he does his blood. Oh, yeah, well, you can't so play it. We're getting in trouble. That's right. I I turned my volume off, so it's eleven minutes, <laughs> eleven and eleven minutes long. So yeah, it's it's way too long. Oh, you just did to see how long the song was. Yeah, like what I did. He wanted to see yeah. if the song was. But I turned my but I turned my I turned my volume down so I wouldn't play it. People, we're gonna do a little. <laughs> so anyway, so then Kelly was walking in at this next point. When I was playing, I had it playing on the stereo with, and I go, hey, Kel, guess what? He's talking about his dick. <laughs> his eight inch love gun coming into your country, hacking. <laughs> We're in England, so we don't use inches, we use centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the eight. <laughs> <laughs> My flesh colored revolver. Anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's <laughs> only do love gun. <laughs> what? Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have seen it. what is that? Mo- what is that movie with the kids in it? They go hear this song. He's that's talking got about the his dude that dick. played Stifler in it. Yeah, what? What All is that? Right. Movie? Yeah, it's oh cool. role models. That's role it. models. Yeah, <laughs> he's talking about his dick. <laughs> That you're talking about that show called The Good Boys. Have you seen that show? No. Good Boys. What is Dude, that? Dude, that is that show is that's hilarious. For some reason, I'm thinking I have, but I don't. Who? Who's All right, that we're right? way. We're, All right, we're we'll swerving. talk about that. We'll talk about that after. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> so Love Gun, of course, is a great. I mean, they're they're just tearing it up. It, it sounds good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's only four and four minutes and forty two seconds long, so we're good. Hundred thousand years comes up. But you know it's only five minutes and twenty seconds long. Well, yeah, it's pretty normal compared to the other right. two songs they drug out for fifteen but, minutes. But a well, hundred thousand years maybe on the original. They did, maybe they did do the drum solo on God of Thunder. I don't. Remember. There was some. There was some drum was extra there? drums on God of Thunder. It's what I'm saying because a hundred thousand years is only six minutes long, or five. It's five minutes long. Okay, so I, I know which listener is stroking out about this. Sorry, dude. Somebody's, somebody's like clicking on motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, 100,000 years, I know on a live one, it's very long. <laughs> it's like super About 100,000 years too long. <laughs> it's too long. But I do love that song. I think it's 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 great, great, great song. Um, of course, after that, another great staple. Get to hear, you know, Paul do that stupid <laughs> play that stupid chord for <laughs> ever. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that's his little my, it's that's my dentist little impersonation. There you go. <laughs> that's pretty good. It's nine minutes and fifty seconds long. So yeah. yeah. But a little black diamond, which that's you know, gotta love that. Peter just tears that up. He you know his vocals on that are so good. And it's just a great song. Any and other then, you guys want to jump in on that? No. Oh, I want to oh. jump in on the next one. All right. So anyway. We're so, doing in Donington uh, Rock City. Yeah, so, you know, here it is. You know, we're all used to hearing this song first off. Well, now here comes Detroit Rock City, the second to the last song. I mean, how weird is that? Is, that was now, strange. Was that, was that part of the encore or did they do an encore on this? I don't remember. You no, know, I don't know. I, I, I don't, don't know. know, Alan. You know, there Donington show is on. Actually, I was going to try to watch it the other day before <clears throat> before we we did their show, but I I didn't get a chance to do it. But Donington's the whole thing's on YouTube, and I was going to watch it to see how that worked. But I wouldn't. I don't know if they had the album. Doesn't say anything about an encore. I mean, it doesn't. There's nothing. I don't know. I, mean, I don't. Encores know. are stupid anyway. Yeah, they're fucking just play like, your you, twenty songs. Get the fuck out. Yeah. 
yeah, no shit. <laughs> Turn the lights yep. on. It's like, really? You're done? Okay. It's like, yeah, we have to yell for you for five minutes. Like, really? We want kiss. We want kiss. Yeah, we heard it. So anyway, Detroit Rock City. <laughs> But you know what? I, I've heard that song a gajillion times. I'm just, I don't know. I'm just, the last but There's two something songs. about hearing that. You know, it's kind of funny because there's something about listening to those songs on the radio and there's something uh, about seeing them performed live. It's just different. Just in the moment, true, you're just jacked up true. and hurts racing. True. Now, be honest. Be honest. If you're out somewhere and you hear da 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 you immediately get jacked up. A little bit. Mm. Yeah. But not much. But I'm like you. If if rock and roll all night comes on the radio, I'm fucking. I'm reaching for the knob as fast as I can fucking grab it. Well, but if I'm that, at the concert, DMI I know that's pretty much DMI. normal for you. I think. No, but I'm saying <laughs> <laughs> the radio well, knob. Now, honestly, it depends to me. Are they playing the alive version or are they playing the dress to kill version? Doesn't matter. Doesn't yeah. matter. I, I'm I'm pretty. But at a concert, I know it's the last song. And I, I'm into it. You know, it's like, okay, here we're going to get the confetti and everything, you know, and all the blowing up shit at the end. It makes it worth it. But just to hear it on the radio, it's like, dude, I've heard that song. And the thing is, you know, if a radio station is going to play fucking Kiss, it's going to be either Beth or Rock and Roll and I. I mean, that's just the two songs you're going to get. Period. Yep. A regular radio station. If you get XM. Yeah, exactly. It's occasionally yeah, they, get some, they'll throw something else in there every now and then. But all in all, this was 17 songs, and it's an hour and 40 minutes long, according to Spotify. Um, like I said, I, I just, for, I mean, like, I know you're talking about, you think the bass is too loud and blah, blah, blah. That's what makes it great for me. I like that part about it. Yeah, I didn't, what, say, I I didn't say it was bad. I just said but I'm was, saying everybody was has their noticeable. thing, but that's, that's what makes it important to me because I like to hear Gene's bass. And I just think it just, it just, just rocks balls but see now said, bill the thing is is you didn't say it was bad but you didn't say it was good so automatically you're wrong <laughs> <laughs> but no it to me like i said i just think it's it's one of those things where i'm so glad that they did get back together you know and do the reunion show i'm glad that we got this you know recording because at that point they were still you know they're the the cracks had not even started at that point. You know, they're all still on their honeymoon as far as getting this thing back together, getting on the road. You know, everybody's making money. Everybody's happy. Everybody's, you know, playing their best. Paul's voice is still there. You know, it's very harmonic. <laughs> or as harmonic as it's going to get. Yes, because at that point, right. you know, everything just goes downhill at this point, you know. <laughs> well, not at this point, that's but at before, some point, you know what I'm, you know what I mean. Peter found out Ace was making more money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, then it's playing bad. suddenly slowed down. I do want to. Are you, you going to get the next the next soundboard? I don't. What, I don't remember what it is. I don't remember what's the. It's seventy seven, seventy eight. No. It's it's it's, it's like a, basically a lot. Yeah. 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 It, it's kind of like a basically a live too, I guess. Yeah, I have a live too. From the Love Gun tour, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't know. I might get that. I don't know. It just depends. The thing is, I'm not going to pre-order it because I I do not like the way that Kiss Online does these pre-orders because they always get fucking delayed and, and everything they, else. Have they showed the set list from that show yet? I don't. Of course, anybody that's got Kiss Alive <laughs> Forever already knows this Here. set list. I could whip Here. that out for you. Hold on, let me get my uh, my handy dandy. Excuse me while I whip this out. Let's see. Is that, Kurt... Are you talking about the Kurt the Kurt Gooch book? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I, heard, I heard something about Kurt Gooch this, this week. Uh, we're not going to talk about any of that. I no, that. I'm just asking if that's a Kurt, the Kurt Gooch Kurt, book. Bo Kurt Gooch and Jeff, and Jeff Suits. Jeff, and those... Jeff Suits. He was brought up today. It's pronounced. Yeah, I watched. Did you I have that, that book, too. I'm just did you watch really that, did you watch that show? Did you watch that, no, did you watch that show? No, and I'm not going to. I, watched it. I did. No desire. So was it the Rock and Roll Over Tour? No. In 77, it would have been the Love Gun Tour. It would have been the Love Gun Tour in the 77. Gun it would have been the Live 2 Tour in 78. So 77. Let's just look here. I'm just trying to find a set list. See November 15th. You should say, see 1974. That's the list. <laughs> That's what it says now. I know. So basically, okay, so, so August 7th. Where was this? Where was this one? You said Sioux Falls. 
Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, Des Moines, Iowa. Des Moines. Des Des Moines. Des Moines. Okay, so Des I don't have. Okay, so anyway, here's yes, here's a set list from At least you August seventeenth. Right. Here's I stole your love. Take me, uh, ladies' room, firehouse, love gun, hooligan, Christine sixteen, making love, shock me, mm. uh, solo. I want you calling Dr. Love. Shout it out loud. Bass solo. God of thunder. Peter Chris solo. Uh, rock and roll all night, Detroit Rock City, Beth and Black Diamond. I would I like listen. to hear making. I, I like to hear listen to that at least. I once. would too. I would too. I think I'm. What yeah. I'm going to do is I'm not going to pre-order it. I'm just going to order it like everybody else does. I'm going to get it off Amazon. I just want the black. I don't need. I don't need if it's fucking blue or green or whatever goddamn color they got this time. I'm going to black. 180 gram. Be done with it. So I, I would be interested in that because that that'll still be a good sounding show. The 2004 one didn't impress me at all because Paul was losing his voice at that point. It's it's a little rough. Yeah, that was the beginning of the end there. That was, you know, and then the Tokyo was what year? Um, 2001. Yeah, I've got that one, and it, it's still, still. Well, that's decent. what I think is cool about that one is it's Ace and Eric. Right, and that's yeah. that's, 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 that's that's the reason I reason that that, that's the reason I got that one too. Yeah, and because that's and because Ace was still playing really good at that one too, so. All right. Well, other than that, uh, like I said, um, if you guys like it or don't like it or special parts of the song, let us know. Do all that crap, you know. But I think we're, uh, I think we're pretty well done with this. Well, before we go, I yeah, forgot to bring this up earlier. Oh, my wife was giving me shit earlier because I seem to always wear the same kiss shirts, even though I have like thirty. Right. Or wear something the same like four that. Four or five shirts too. Who gives a shit? Yeah, no. She said, "I wear the same shirt." She, she, you got to wear something different. So I did. So what this is really different. So you can't hardly see it, but I wore. And oh. football season started unofficially Great yesterday. Iron. Yeah, it's so it's the uh, L.A. Kiss. Oh, okay. Arena football team, which team. lasted what a year? Yeah, Two whatever, years. dude. It was Look a at me. Years. <laughs> I'm fucking representing ages of rock, cocksuckers. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> I need to grow some hair, man. My hair looks really bad. Your hair, I'm telling you, you look like you just made a something with a flux capacitor. I'm telling I you. I think I did. <laughs> hey, Doc. I'm going back to the future. Hey, Doc. All right, Alan, you want to do your, do your shit? No, but I will anyway. Okay. Y'all visit need- us on agesofrock.com. Check out our social media links and past episodes. And until next time, peace out. And I didn't fuck it up this week. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Ages of Rock podcast. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and most importantly, tell all your friends. Remember, you're never too old to rock. Until the next episode, peace out, folks.